This recipe is Singapore noodle with shrimp. It's got tons of flavor, it's quick and easy stir fry, and I'm gonna get started by blanching the shrimp. So I'm putting the shrimp right into my boiling water. This is 4150 count shrimp. That simply means that there are 41 to 50 shrimp in a pound. It's already peeled into vein and it's um, farm raised shrimp, That's right. white shrimp. Okay, what have we got going next here, Russell? Uh, I've got some scallions that I just cut into about two or two and a half inch lengths and I'm gonna add them right on top of the shrimp. All right, let's hike that water up a little Perfect. bit. Perfect. All right, and next I'm gonna add in one package of shredded Asian slaw. And this is simply a combination of carrots, celery, and um, finely chopped um, nap cabbage. That's right. Uh, and then while that's cooking, and that's only going to take about 30 seconds to cook, and I've got one egg that I've beaten here, and I'm just going to scramble this very, very quickly in my wok. And I'm just going to cook it long enough so it has a chance to set. Okay. This is about time to take this out already, isn't yeah, it, Yeah, you can go, ahead, go ahead, right ahead we're and We're just blanching that. this really quickly because we're going to finish cooking it in the, um, the wok in a little bit here. So. That's right. So my egg is cooked very, very quickly. I'm going to put my wok right back on my burner. I'm going to crank the heat up just a little bit. And what I have here is half an onion that I've sliced very, very thinly. Okay. A little more oil in my pan. I'm going to start to saute that. And this is the beauty about this dish. There's a couple of things that I really like about it. Singapore says it all. Singapore really is a nice blending of cultures and flavors. There's Chinese influence, Indian in influence, and this dish has a lot of those things going on. These oh, onions yeah. are only going to take about two minutes, and while they're cooking, I'm going to go ahead and build my sauce. And my sauce is very simple. Okay. got a quarter cup of Thai culinary stock, which mm -hmm. has some great flavors of galangal root, uh, ginger, it's got sriracha sauce in it, it's got lemongrass. So sriracha I have a sauce, what's that? It's like a spicy, uh, like almost like red pepper sauce. It's got a lot of body to it. It's almost the consistency of ketchup. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of oyster sauce, which got a really nice shine to it. Mm -hmm. It's got a little soy in there, so we're gonna get some salt from it. Nice. And what re really makes this dish special is this hot madras curry powder. Oh, it's yeah. very, very spicy. It's got some really good heat, and the color is gonna be great. Right, and we've used that in other recipes this season, too. So if you have it in your pantry, there's a couple ways to use it, right? Yeah, curry cauliflower soup is a great one. Well, it is, it's okay. wonderful. So I'm just gonna give Beautiful. these onions a quick toss nice now. Nice color, good. And then if you can, if yep. you wanna give me a hand, just grab those noodles. Oh, yes, absolutely. These are rice noodles, by the way, um, obviously made of rice flour. They're very, very fine, like a vermicelli, and they're also gluten-free for folks who are looking for a substitute for regular vermicelli or spaghetti, right? right. And they okay. cook very, very quickly. Really, all oh, yeah. you have to do is submerge them in, in boiling water mm -hmm. that's been taken off the heat, and they only take two minutes, and then you drain them that's so they're it. ready to Don't go. Don't even boil them. Right? right, and you can do that ahead. That's the beauty of this dish. That's right. something you can do the night ahead. You can go yeah. ahead and throw them oh, right in. Oh, you can in. throw them in. Okay. They get sort of sticky too overnight. What you can always do is cover them with some saran or add a little bit of liquid to it to That's help right. separate the noodles when you're ready to use them. Okay, and this is where it really picks up and goes very fast. You can go ahead and add all the shrimp and okay. vegetables, go right in there. I'm going to give this a quick toss. All right. I'm just going to wipe this down. So. Perfect. And I'm going to put my sauce right in. Right. And you're going to see how that nice yellow curry powder really starts oh, to take. Oh, that gives it a lot of color. That is beautiful. Okay. I'm going to give right. this just another quick okay, toss. Okay, here comes the toss. To coat. <laughs> and the last thing I want to do, and because we pre-blanched and everything's been cooked probably about 75% of the way, we're really just looking to warm everything through, keep those green vegetables nice and vibrant, keep the shrimp very, very it pink. Is. They're smaller shrimp, so we don't want to overcook them. That's right. That size shrimp, by the way, is perfect for stir-frying. You can find the same shrimp in a 16 to 20 count, and those are larger, so the smaller the number, right. the larger the shrimp. And those are great for grilling, for pan searing, but this size is just excellent for stir-frying. So and here a, we go. A perfect weeknight meal. Just going to give it a toss to make sure all that sauce right. is all the way through there. And he didn't lose a single shrimp doing that either. It's all luck, Ella. <laughs> it's all no, in no there. No skill involved. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that color. It's got that golden yellow to it. It's beautiful. And the idea behind it, too, is that when, when, you're, when you're eating, you get a little bit of shrimp, you get a little bit of egg, and you've got all those nice, intense flavors. And that's it. There's your Singapore uh, wow. noodles with shrimp, and uh, I'll plate a little up for you. That was pretty easy, but if you don't feel like making it, you, it's also available takeout from our Market Cafe. That's so right. either way, enjoy it, go home, try it, and let us know how you like it. It's going to be great. I'm going to get some for myself, yeah. too. Oh, you're going to eat this time. You Good. All right.